Hi friends, gonna do something different today. I have a couple of friends, one of whom just bought a house and one of whom is um, building a house. So we're gonna go and see how the projects are going. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Today I'm going to start out with a little dog content. Who's this? Camila. Camila. Camila, you look like a very sweet lady. I'm pleased to meet you. Mucho gusto, Camila. No habla? Okay. So today, a uh, couple of friends. This is, introduce yourself. I'm Sergio from San Jose. Uh-huh. And? Rico from Monterey, California, both of us. Yeah. Whoa, Californians. I don't know. There's too many of you guys here. What are you doing? <laughs> We've been listening to your video. Oh uh, no! Don't tell my friend. Don't tell my friends. There's too many of you. So Rico just bought this property here, and we're going to take a look at it. Uh, we're going to go in and see what Rico bought, and then we're going to go down the street and see what Sergio is developing. So did you guys know each other in California? No, we, we did not. You met here. Met here. Yeah. How did that happen? So I came over, knocked on this door, and introduced myself. Oh, okay. That, that's what you did to me, only it was Boy, in the Walmart parking lot. He was like, block and roll, and I pull up behind him. I'm like, this is jackass, block and roll. <laughs> pull up next to him, my friend actually looks over and goes, hey, it's Jerry. I'm like, I knew I'd run into this guy sooner or later. So obviously he goes into Walmart, because he's always in Walmart. So he comes out of his van, I go, hey, Jerry, how you doing? I'm uh, I'm Sergio, I introduced myself, I'm all, thanks to your big mouth, I got a house here, Jerry, you need to come look at it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, let's go look at this one that Rico bought. Yeah, come on. What'd, come you, on pay for, what'd you pay for this, Rico? So, we paid uh, 210 for this one. 210 U.S. dollars. 210, it's a small two-bedroom. Room for improvement, though. Oh, my gosh. This is nice. I like, I had white floors in my house. They're hard to keep clean. I changed it. Yeah, to, I clean, to, I've been clean for him every day. I was like, yeah. sweeping and mopping. Yeah. So I'm not doing white floors. Oh, no, I wouldn't. If I, would start, if I was to start from yeah. scratch, I wouldn't do it either. I'm not sure if I'm going to do terracotta since I can see the roof is too much red. I can decide. So look at the view. There's some very nice views now, Jerry. Yeah. It depends on where you're at in the, in the property. Sure. We go upstairs. Very we nice. Yeah, After this one is a really nice little guest bathroom. Oh, it's it's a bathroom that needs a little bit of adjustment. How's that? Well, depends on who is using the bathroom. It is challenging. So uh, an engineer did suggested that we move the toilet at least for this side to this side. Yeah. Just so that at least it will give you an easier flow. Oh, to well, flow into into the shower. Yeah, yeah. you got to let's say like a maze to get to the shower. This is this is really difficult. Yeah. So we're we're gonna probably make that change. Well, that would be good and pretty easy. Just dig up the floor and move the drain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's and and the rest of it probably would stay just like that. We'll replace the doors. The last house I developed in um, a renovated in Portland, Oregon, uh -huh. years and years ago, mm -hmm. I put exactly that same sink in it. <laughs> Well, you just aged the house, do you see? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go up. This is a property that it's about probably an average of 50 years uh, since it was built. Yeah, so that's what we're but it's been renovated much more recently than that. It has, I believe that yeah. they must have done, I'm assuming they must have done floors. Yeah. Probably the cabinetry, uh, I'm assuming because they're in good shape. Uh, just the design, is, it's a little outdated. <sighs> So this is a bathroom that will uh, be gutted and and uh, remodeled. Uh, are you going to redo the tile? We're going to redo the whole thing. <laughs> just give a little bit of an update. I don't We're hoping to open this to connect to the bedroom. I don't, I don't want to be derogatory, but that mint tile just doesn't go with me. <laughs> oh, wow. This is neat. Yeah, the bedrooms are really, really good size. Wow. King size bed? And usually got room to dance. A lot of these, uh, the keys, yeah, there's so many keys to the house. 
Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. Last, last week, my maid's doing the same thing coming to my house. I went and got some fingernail polish and painted my key for her. Oh, yeah. That was <laughs> what? Wow. Lake Chapala. We are actually, that's what the engineer told me. So we're going to cut this off and bring it up. And so this is all going to be closed up like a sunroof. Oh, yeah. You're going to put, oh, so you're going to put like glass around? So yeah. you can enjoy it year-round because of mosquitoes. But yeah. I have a question for you. That, so that house up there, that's not yours? No. no. So oh. that's where it'll end. And you'll, and you'll see as, as, as we go along. Uh, yeah. But, wow. I like it, Rico. You like it? I do. I'm glad you do. I like the view. He's got a nice right. little patio here, yeah. Jerry. Mm -hmm. On the side. Oh, I was going to take him out to the other one so he could see oh, the bedroom. Okay. See how beautiful it is right here. Oh yeah. Oh, you have guys working on the wall. Is that your wall? No. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna we they were already cleaned uh from where the property starts. So they're gonna re uh, uh finish and Oh in. so you, that that's, that's your wall up there. That's where it ends. Oh is you well we have more so, we so have all more to look trees at these are part of the property here as well. Okay. Uh it has an avocado tree which is it's a nice gift. Yeah. Of nature. Yeah, the avocados yeah. are Well, hot, you think really so good. now. I had seven of them when I moved in. Oh, did you? Did you they're messy them? trees. I know. They, they make a terrible mess all the time. A lot of leaves. Yeah. So there will probably be a lot of, a lot of cleaning. I think that tree is going to be gone. That uh, looks like know. a rubber yeah. tree. So, yeah. Yeah. In the dry uh, season, all that gets dried up really ugly. Yeah. Brush yeah. Yeah. Here. yeah. So... I th we're thinking of maybe putting like a little, like a, like a security fence right here. I would grow some bamboo. On the uh, side. Yeah, fen like fence and plant some bougainvillea. Bougainvillea? Like yeah. that one? Yeah. On the other side? Bougainvillea, Mexican barbed wire. Isn't it that one? That one with the, the huh? purple. It's already there. So we yes. just trimmed it. Yeah. And we're starting to build it to where we yeah. just and right. it to build like a nice little. Yeah. You don't block. need a fence if you get that stuff going. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. And this is bedroom number two, and huge, and another king-size bed. Headboards painted on the wall, I like that. So are the built-ins, the built-in uh, dressers. <laughs> painted, pa painted on the wall. <laughs> Curiously enough, it's a real window. <laughs> and another one with a great view again. And then we have a patio out here. Yeah, so this is the extension of, so you were in the... Uh, oh, nice stained glass. Look at that. So... And let me see this. Oh, it's enclosed. I'm... I'm gonna do I used to do stained glass. I'm just... I'm, oh, did you? I'm curious about how they did this. They, It's lead came, it's called. So this is actually just lead. But then the gold is a patina that they put on it. Oh, and you, I gotta build my wall up. And you have a mural. A mural. Yeah, nice. I think that was uh, done by the, by the lady that owned the house. Yeah? She was very proud of it. Well, this is a great space. It really is. I mean, yeah. You can't beat it. Well, thank you for showing me your new acquisition. <laughs> well, thank you for the visit. 210000 210. Wish I'd have got here first. <laughs> Did you like, do you like the price? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, partly because of the location mm -hmm. and the view and the quality of construction. I'm, I would be real curious when you find out if there are, in fact, uh, supports in these brick walls. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah the, heart, the house was worth more. The woman was desperate selling it, so yeah. she dropped the price a lot. She did. Yeah. Yeah. It should be worth about $260 or more. Yeah. You know, sometimes God puts us in the right place at the right time, right? I th I think so. Yeah, I, I I I always say the universe takes care of Jerry. I think so too. Yeah, <laughs> he's been taking care of me for a long time. <laughs> Thanks for your time, Rico. <laughs> Thank so you. We're going up to Sergio's place now. And he is. So is this new construction or your? Uh, uh, yeah, the, the, what we found out when we started building was that the uh, wall didn't have any support. Yeah. 
So I basically paid one hundred and eighty-five thousand dollars for a piece of property. Uh -huh. We leveled the house, and we're starting from scratch to make sure it's going to be withstand uh, earthquakes. This this retaining wall right here is going to grow that high. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Wait, I know you got to talk to your guys. Go ahead. Yeah. Maybe just uh, let them know what I want to see and what's going on because. That's what I do with you guys every once a week. Okay. And this is boring, I don't think it's white enough. I'm mixing cement here. You've seen that happen at my house. Another great view property. But look at this tree. Oh my gosh. It just keeps on going. You're building something. So, yeah, what are we doing? Like I was telling you earlier, thanks to your videos, I uh, came up with uh, a Kiki, fell in love with it just like you did. I bought this piece of property jelly, and when I bought it, we found out right away that there was no structure to the house. So I'm just paying $185,000 for this piece of property, but look at my view from here, Jerry. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a million dollar view. It is. Way over to Scorpion Island. Yeah. So what we're building now is going to be a duplex. There'll be uh, three bedrooms on the bottom, uh -huh. four bedrooms up on top. Are we on the bottom? We're on the bottom now. Okay. Uh, so in uh, uh, 74, seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms, seven. two kitchens. Okay. There'll be a couple of three balconies. Um, the guys are doing a really swell job, as you can tell. You know, this is the master bath uh, bedroom. It'll be wall glass. It should open up with. Uh, you know, most girls. So, uh, master bedroom and master bath. Master bedroom, master closet, and uh, master bathroom. Okay. We have two master uh, bedrooms, one in each floor. Mm -hmm. So this here is going to be a, a, a double door. So you'll I have a mosquito, you know, a security yeah a door, so you can open up the door so the mosquitoes will go in, and then we're going to have the uh, entrance door, right? And again, this will be all glass. The ceiling of floor is 11 feet or 12. I can forget what they are. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we got my balcony here. Glass slide over. Uh, the balcony will be aligned with glass. So it's going to look kind of modern. Uh, as you can see, the piping is sticking up. I got a large, uh, what, uh, what do you call that, uh, uh, water fountain. Yes. Here. Uh huh. The hole that you see there, we're not can't fill that in because I have my uh, water tank down there. It goes into so the. We're going to do board. El Hebe. Right. So yeah. the uh, uh, it continues the same level as you see. Is it an L shape here? Yes. It's all these plants in mm -hmm. that shape. Uh, and I can't wait for this to be done. You know, with plants or even with a solid wall yeah. below the windows, if you could cut off the view of the roof yeah. from back in here. So that what you saw was just that. farther out. Yeah. So the, the 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 retaining wall is going to grow to the level of the uh, edge of that cement right there. First, uh, you know, uh, so yeah, safety, right. You know, so nobody can. Oh well, that'll cut off half of this anyway right. already. And then that, we're going to fill it in with dirt and yeah. the plants. And all those plants are going. Yeah. They they were chopped down and they're coming back to life. Oh, uh, things will grow fast here. Yeah. So we see here will be the kitchen with an island, mm -hmm. living room area. Everything's been plumbed already, so we got air conditioner below that. We'll be a big screen TV with the connection so we can plug in the TV into mm -hmm. this uh, area here. We got a bedroom here that has its own bathroom. We've got a window, towards the view. And then we open this up so we don't lose the view from here. Oh yeah. So I had them open up. I'm thinking of doing a big stained glass there. Oh, nice. And then from here, you'll have access to the garage. So the roof here will be rounded up on top of this. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to see the uh, 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 tile. And there's going to be a balcony. You can see it's starting right here, actually. Uh -huh. Well, that's... And another bath? And that's all plumbed up for TV, cable, Oh my, uh, so, so you pay one eighty-five for the lot. 
me one eighty five. Basic, basically, because he had to tear down what was here. Right now, believe it or not, one hundred fifty thousand. One hundred fifty thousand bedrooms. I mean, seven bedrooms, eight bathrooms. Wow. Excuse me, eight bedrooms. I just forgot. You have one down below. We show you that. <laughs> right. So this would be my hallway. This would be the uh, pantry. Uh huh. This would be a wash. Uh, um, guest bathroom, there'll be a wall, you'll open the door to get to the uh, washer and dryer. This will be a, this is another bedroom with a walk-in closet and a full bathroom. Nice size rooms. You like that? I do, well, yeah. I mean, picture, picture a bed and maybe a table and a chair to sit in in here. Yeah. Well, it's just, all... it's a good size. If you're going to have that many, you could you could make four bedrooms in here and have big ground bedrooms, but right. it doesn't serve the purpose. No, it doesn't. And I'm concerned since we're underground here about the secret. So well, I'm having them tile this whole wall. <laughs> you, I bought some beautiful tile that looks like wallpaper. Yeah. Uh, and they, you know, just to make sure that we don't have that problem with that wall. Now they did protect the wall. They added whatever they did. Supposedly, it's not going to let the uh, salita come through, but I told my mom on the tile anyways. Good luck. <laughs> the tile will pop up? No, the tile won't pop up. The tile will probably take care of it. Yeah. But you're going to have salitre. Oh, yeah. yeah. But uh, at least that wall is the only one that concerns me right now, really. But, uh, you know, this is the echo right now. I cannot wait to see the floors, the kitchen in. Yeah. You know. And then, uh, uh, like you said, yeah, I'm going to grow the plants. Because you can barely see the roof from here on the Right. Roof, once you walk out there. But there'll be plants that's going to block that. But what do you, the view, Jerry? It's beautiful. Come around. That's a carport. Access from this driveway over here. Around to the back of the house. So this area here. This will be a three-car garage. Minus the escombro. Yeah. Uh, the, from ceiling to floor, I already told the guys I want uh -huh. 10 feet. And after that, the fourth bedroom will start. Okay, and then and the up above that will be a meter or, which will have a bathroom, a small kitchen up above. Right. And uh, it'll have an amazing, you saw the view we already have. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go up that ladder and see where you're going to live. Right, so. Yeah. Okay. That'll be my uh, my quarters. Down below will be rented out. I'm not sure if I'm going to do long term or Airbnb, probably uh, Airbnb. I don't know if I want somebody there full time living here while I'm here. I'd rather have them in and out. Yeah. I'll be holding it for you. When we were talking before. So this. Oh. So this would be a rounded roof? Yep. Right? Over the More wrong all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Guest bathroom. So there'll be a door there. Mm -hmm. This ba this bedroom is going to have to share the bathroom. Large window to enjoy the view back. That way. Mm. <laughs> that tall ceiling too. too. <laughs> You know, this would be washer, dryer, closet. Uh huh. Pantry. So your plan is to rent below and live up here. Live up below. And then, uh, okay. So we have over here again, it kind of reminisces the bottom. Uh huh. Somewhat. Uh, kitchen, living room. Uh huh. I got a balcony. No problem getting a view from up here. The view from here, Jerry. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. This is what sold me in the property. The temple's right there. Yeah. Beautiful view. Beautiful. And we're getting ready. To, they got all the materials ordered so we can start the roof. They'll have bobinas. Mm -hmm. One in the bedroom, one in the living room, in the living room, two small ones in the bathrooms. You know, everybody always talks about the view of the lake. Look at this view of the mountains. Yeah. Well, they're beautiful now. When they're dry, they're not. Yeah, that's, that's true. But there are some trees here that are going to be green. That big, great big one there, that'll still be green. So, well, this is one of the bedrooms over here, Jerry. And they'll stretch to the uh, doorway of this bedroom. I just a side note. 
that building right there? Yeah. Four floors, I think. Yeah. Uh, condominiums. When I lived in Casa de Abuela, a block from here, they were building that. Oh, they were building that. 20 years ago. 20 years ago. <laughs> so, jacuzzi. Jacuzzi, water fountain up against that wall. All glass. Glass in the front. Uh huh. And also in the front balcony. And, and this will be set for a two person jacuzzi here. So, when do you expect to be able to move in? I'm um, hoping October. This year, October? October, or towards the end of October, we should get it done. We're waiting for the roof to get put on so everything starts drying out. Yeah. Give it two, you know, hopefully three weeks, they can start polishing the walls. And right. we start doing the floors. So this is the uh, larger master bedroom. The walk-in closet was bigger, but when I met with the guy, I'm like, hey, where's the washer and dryer going? Yeah. So then we had to gobble up a little piece of that. Closet, which is still a big closet. Yeah. yeah. And the bath. And then uh, his own bath. You know what? I'm not seeing any skylights. We uh, love we love skylights. You know, uh, I'm I'm gonna probably end up talking to the guys that have one here and there, yeah. especially up here because we couldn't do it in the bottom. Uh -huh. There's no reason why we can't do it here. That might be too late. They got the roof up already. Yeah. Nothing's too late with this kind of construction if you got the money. That's the problem. Well, <laughs> Every time you make a change, I know that. write another check. And, and there, it puts them behind. Again, we're yeah. moving forward. Right. Just like the door down below is supposed to be a little wider. I want it a little wider. Yeah. I want to make sure we have no problem bringing in and out furniture. Yeah. Uh, it is what it is now because I don't want them to tear down Castillo, move it back. You know. But I showed up to me. I'm showing up once a week. Let me ask you a question. Is this your first project in Mexico? In Mexico it is. <laughs> okay. But you have experience elsewhere. Yeah. Okay. How does it work? Oh, no. Excuse me, Jerry. So second. I redid my mom's house, but that was a remodel. Okay. Yeah. This is the first construction from the ground up. My question is, what about permits, codes? Tell me about this. Yeah. So it was actually a breeze. I believe we spent uh, four thousand dollars in permits. Yeah. You know, I'm only missing one. I'll be bringing the two twenty power up. Okay. But the contractors, those the guy, the people down uh, in the office, they walk in, shook him, blah blah mm -hmm. blah. You know, lit, mm -hmm. lit, walked out. Right. How much would that cost in the states? A lot. A lot. So we're going up to a bedroom that you may use for a caretaker or a gardener right. so or... This already has a toilet and shower in it. Uh -huh. So the idea now is going to be once we get it down, well, you know, it stays the way it is, but we'll move the shower there, mm -hmm. toilet, sink, and we'll leave this as a closet. Yeah. Bed, and then we're going to shelf this. Obviously, this will be all smoothed out. Sure. You know. And as you know, they put screen here to keep this from happening. So we're going to have to chip it all out and then uh, re stucco or redo the roof. Now, the door used to be here. Now the door will be over yonder. They can, they, can, they can nail chicken wire to this. Yeah. And then plastic. That's what they did up uh, uh, the bottom floor. Yeah. I told my I do not want to see this coming through. Of Adam about that. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a window on this will be a rounded roof. This one for sure, just like the uh, the hallway in the mm -hmm. second floor. Watch your step, Jerry. I am. You know, any any uh, changes you would make, Jerry, if you were building this house and we just ran through it? Yeah, I'd make a mine instead of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it could be a $600,000, it could be yours. <laughs> 600, let's see, you're into it for 185, 150, you're well, 335, 400. 400 when you're done. Right. Yeah. Well, remember, I... When did you, when did you start? But, you got to calculate this too, Gary. I've been here, uh, going to be here a year. I haven't worked for a year. I could have been making some money at work. So you, you have, have to calculate that. You have to course. include your time. Oh, absolutely. When you include my time in my house... It's unaffordable. <laughs> I'll trade you home. You want to trade? No, I don't think so. Not yet. <laughs> Call me when it's done. Why don't you come back when it's done and show everybody? The I can't. I can't wait. You said October. Call me. For a few months. Well, then we'll get together another time so you can show everybody the finished product. Okay.
Thank you, gentlemen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind.